Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed your time during this week. With the newspaper's headlines, we start from Spain with the Madrid newspaper A's. Manchester City returned to the Bernabeu in the Champions League semi-finals today, with Pep Guardiola's men out to avenge their defeat to Real Madrid at the same stage of last year's competition. Los Blancos, who lifted the Copa del Rey at the weekend, eliminated City in dramatic fashion 12 months ago, thanks to a last gasp comeback in Madrid. With that painful European exit still fresh in the memory, the Premier League champions go to the Spanish capital with Erling Haaland their chief threat, as they bid to draw first blood against a Madrid side targeting back-to-back -back continental crowns. Manchester City boss Pep Guardiola is no stranger to facing Real Madrid, which he did many times as player at Barcelona, and has also done on a number of occasions managing La Blaugrana, Bayern Munich, and now the Premier League leaders. For the second season in succession, the Sky Blues face Carlo Ancelotti's side in the semi-finals of the Champions League and do not have especially fond memories from 12 months ago, when they were 5-3 ahead on aggregate going into the final minute of the second leg at Estadio Santiago Bernabeu, only to unbelievably concede three goals in final minute and stoppaged him. Guardiola's charges will play the second leg at home this time around and with the Madrid newspaper Marca. Two of the best attacking teams in Europe face off in the Champions League semi-finals this week, with Manchester City's record-seeking Erling Haaland going against Real Madrid's red-hot trio of Vinicius Jr., Rodrigo and Karim Benzema. Today's first leg at Santiago Bernabeu Stadium will be a rematch of last year's semi-final, when Madrid got the better of a City team that didn't have Haaland. City fell short of European success yet again, while Madrid went on to win a record extending 14th title. The addition of Holland could be the difference maker for coach Pep Guardiola's team. The Norwegian has 12 of City's 26 goals in the league this season. He is five shirt of Cristiano Ronaldo's single season record of 17 for Madrid in 2013 to 14. If you have a player like Holland, you have to take advantage, Guardiola said Monday. We will play for him. When we didn't have him we had to play differently. Now we have to take advantage of having a player like him. Holland added a new dimension to a City attack that played most of last season without a striker. Instead of focusing on always dominating possession, Guardiola has been happy to use Holland as a weapon on the counter-attack at times. The striker has an English Premier League record 35 goals this season and 51 across all competitions. Madrid will stick to the formula that has worked well in recent years, with Vinicius, Benzema and Rodrigo taking turns to lead an attack that scored 25 times in the Champions League this season, 15 of them coming from the trio. They have 8 of the team's 10 goals in the knockout stage alone. Last season, Vinicius, Benzema and Rodrigo combined for all 6 of Madrid's goals as it advanced past City 6-5 on aggregate in the semi-finals. And now with the most prominent headlines of the Catalan newspaper Mindo Deportivo. Lionel Messi has won the Laureus Award for Best Male Athlete of 2022 on Monday, ahead of names such as Rafa Nadal, Kylie and Mbapp and Steph Curry, boosted by his performance with the Argentina national team, which he led to the Qatar 2022 World Cup. It is the second time Messi, 35, has won a Laureus considered a sports Oscar after the one he won in 2020, an award he then shared with British Formula One driver Lewis Hamilton. The man from Rosario, who succeeds Max Verstappen of the Netherlands, attended the ceremony at the Pavilion Vadome in Paris with his wife, Antonella. Messi receives the award just after being reinstated to training with his club Paris Saint-Germain, who had sidelined him for a week for skipping a training session on May 1 when he flew to Saudi Arabia for a publicity engagement. And we move to talk about the most prominent headlines of the Catalan newspaper sport. Carlo Ancelotti held a press conference ahead of Tuesday's Champions League game against Manchester City at the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu. The Real Madrid coach sees their opponents as more complete than last season's side, who were knocked out by Los Blancos, but with the hallmarks of Pep Guardiola's coaching. He admits that the biggest danger is Erling Haaland but is confident that they will be able to make their own weapons count. Vinicius Jr. 
and Rodrigo Goes have been two of the most efficient attacking players in Europe this term, and Anselotti hopes they can make the most of their chances against the English champions. And with the French newspaper L'Equip, which highlighted Jean-Michel Olas who has stepped down as Lyon president after more than 30 years at the helm, the club have confirmed. The club's men's and women's teams have won more than 50 titles during his stewardship since he took over control back in 1987. New owner John Texter will now step in as chairman and chief executive officer on an interim basis while a permanent successor is found. Olas has been appointed honorary chairman in recognition of his services to the club, with the most prominent Courier de Sport newspaper. Paris Saint-Germain have shown tentative early interest in Jose Mourinho becoming their next manager French side will assess their options at end of season Mourinho's future as Roma boss is uncertain heading into the summer former Manchester United manager may consider a change of club. The 60-year-old has a great relationship with PSG sporting director Luis Campos after the pair worked together at Real Madrid Mourinho whose Roma contract expires at the end of next season, guided the Italian side to a first European trophy since 1961 with victory in last season's Europa Conference League. The former Manchester United manager is aiming for back-to-back -back European successes with Roma, who take on German side Bayer Leverkusen in the semi-finals of the Europa League with the first leg in Italy on Thursday. Domestically, Roma sits seventh, five points outside the Champions League places with four games remaining. Also with the Italian newspaper Tutto Sport, which talked about Juventus striker Dusan Vlahovic was booked on Sunday after scoring against Atalanta and responding to alleged racist abuse from the stands. The 2022-23 campaign has been another one clouded in controversy for Serie A, with reports of discrimination seemingly never far away. Serbia international Vlahovic is the latest to have reportedly been subjected to taunts from narrow-minded individuals, with cries of gypsy asterisk t being heard during Juve's visit to Bergamo. The 23-year-old forward looked visibly distressed at times, but found himself having the final word when crashing home a stunning goal in stoppage time that wrapped up a 2-0 win for the Bianconri. Vlahovic was, however, to be cautioned for his passionate celebration, with an angry response delivered to those in the home crowd. He is said to have told the match officials, do into you hear them, when seeing a yellow card flashed in his direction, but the decision stood. This was all we have for this episode. We see you again tomorrow with another episode of the most newspapers' prominent headlines.